Well, after compelling arguments and counter-arguments, the two women and five men that make up the Supreme Court have the unenviable task of deciding the outcome of the 2017 presidential petition. Chief Justice David Maraga will be delivering the ruling on his biggest case yet on Friday. But what do we know about the bench in red and black? Well, let's have a look. Now, this, of course, is the Chief Justice David Maraga, and a few facts about him. He he, of course, has been the president of the Supreme Court since 2016. He practiced law for 25 years and, of course, is still practicing. And uh, just another interesting fact, he was, in fact, the presiding judge of the Kisumu Appellate Court and chaired the uh, tribunal on the High Court. All uh, right, and moving on to the next judge there, Justice Philomena Mwilu. Now, she uh, has been uh, deputy CJ since October 2016 and was appointed uh, the High Court judge in 2007. She was then elevated to the judge of the Court of Appeal back in 2012. Also, uh, we have Justice Jackson Ojuang, and he came into the Supreme Court as a judge in June 2011, he sat on the bench that decided the 2013 petition, so an interesting one for him. And also, uh, we have with us uh, Justice Mohammed Ibrahim. And Mohammed Ibrahim was appointed to the Supreme Court uh, in June 2011. He has been actively involved in civil rights and advocacy, and he's also been a member of the bench that decided the 2013 petition. And then Justice Njoki Dungu, she's also one of the Supreme Court judges and she was the state counsel in the AG's office. Uh, she is also a former nominated MP and she is also among the judges who decided the 2013 petition. Next up is Justice Smokin Wanjala and some facts about him as we get to know more about these uh, men and ladies in red and black. He uh, was a University of Nairobi law lecturer for 20 years and has actively been involved in the constitutional reform and he also sat on the bench that decided the 2013 petition. Next up is Justice Isaac Lenaola. There you go on your screen. And uh, he joined the judiciary back in 2003, and he was then appointed to the Supreme Court in November 2016. And there you have it. So those are just some, or rather all, of the um, judges there at the Supreme Court. And now you know just a little bit more about them. They, remember, are tasked with making that final decision as to the outcome of the Supreme Court uh, petition. We'll know more about that on Friday.